Hello, my baby. Hello, my darling. This is Vicky. Who is having a good month? Anybody? Anyone? Actually, it's more realistic if I ask who is having an okay month. It is the month of March. And last week, I was organizing my monthly and yearly work calendar for 2023 and thought, man, it feels good to organize and schedule tasks on the computer. I am making sure this year that my goals are more realistically achievable, which makes it easier to actually follow through with them, with the plans. And this is hard to do when you have brain fog from being chronically ill and other mental problems as well. Depression, anxiety, we all got it. Sometimes I wonder if I also have ADHD, but uh, not sure. Maybe I'll never know. Anyway, when I first started writing this voiceover last week, I was feeling sick and tired and having trouble with focusing and performing this seemingly simple task. About an hour before that, I had actually been feeling closer to normal with somewhat good levels of energy, but then it suddenly changed. And this is the reality of being chronically ill and trying to do stuff. But I'm still doing it, albeit at a turtle's pace. I'm really grateful for the days and the periods within a day when I am feeling physically good. When I have like small spurts of energy to get stuff done. At the end of 2022, one of the things I realized I had to do, that I wanted to do, is to go into monk mode. If you've never heard of that, it's basically a mode of being, of doing, where you just focus on your stuff, even if it means you're not going out to socialize or keep up with friends and family, um, not partaking in other leisures or pleasures, etc. So to help with this, I uninstalled some apps from my phone like Facebook, Facebook Messenger, Kakao Talk, WhatsApp. I'd just been feeling so anxious and sick from being inundated with news and info about the happenings of the world, while also dealing with my own personal daily problems. So I was like, I need to cut myself off. I was feeling pressured to engage with people in the way they wanted, in the way that suited them, and was not good for me, and was making me more sick. Anyway, it's only been about a week since I uninstalled the apps and I already feel better. So, as I've been easing into monk mode, what are my art plans for 2023? The beginning half of this year, I'm mainly going to be focused on making pages for the comic I've been posting speed paint videos of, and the abbreviation of the comic's title is NTOO, so I'm going to try to start referring to it in that way. I want to finish at least four pages for pitch events on Twitter, and 6 to 10 pages for pitching to publishers. And I'll continue making a buffer of pages so that if it doesn't get any interest from any agents or publishers by the end of the year, I can start posting them onto comic reading sites in the following year. My main goal for the later half of this year is to open up a shop again, even if I only have a handful of products. It definitely won't be some grand launch, especially since my online presence and following is quite minimal. The point is, I want to follow through and not keep putting off my goals. I will excuse myself though for not following through if I have a bad health flare like I did last year. Fingers crossed that doesn't happen! So those are the two main art goals for 2023, pitch and TOO, and do a tiny shop launch. What are your goals for this year? What are you working on? I like to hear about other people's aspirations and strategies they're going to implement to get there. And if anyone else is also trying to achieve things while having health problems, I'm curious to hear about that too. Health problems. Mental problems. I want to cheer for you too. I also did a little writing session to further stamp out the main plot points of NTOO. I don't want to be over ambitious and make it a full length graphic novel, more like a short one, though I'm not sure what the page range for that would be. Maybe like 100 pages? Or less than 200? I am also still unsure about how to approach the vibe of the story. In my heart, I want the humor to be whack and inappropriate, 
but I imagine most mainstream publishers would be quite wary about picking up stuff that have moments of being, you know, maybe politically incorrect. But if I push it as new adult instead of young adult, maybe they'll have more leniency? So in NTO, the young ladies, my characters, are mostly 19 to 20 years old. So with that in mind, the story would be new adult. From what I've heard though, new adult and adult graphic novels are not easily taken on, and maybe it's because YA is already really popular and therefore a safe bet. And probably because publishers don't want to take a risk on more adult stories that people may find controversial. And so this is the dilemma I have many times in my work. Do I play it safe so that my work is more marketable and to minimize the chances of offending or disturbing people? Because I do like making nice, sweet things, but I also like making rough, deviant things too. I want to make children's books, and I also want to make erotic comics. Why can't people accept that an artist can do both, and everything in between, and that they shouldn't be punished for it? Hmm? Hmm? Anyway, I think that's it for this voiceover. I hope you are all having an okay month of March, and I hope you'll be interested in seeing how my comic progresses. Thanks so much, and I will be back with more comic making videos. Mm, goodbye!